Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edward Medaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to enable HTTPS only mode in your Firefox web browser. So basically this is a security features in Firefox that helps protect your privacy data by forcing all websites to use HTTPS. HTTPS is the secure versions of HTTP and it encrypts all traffic between your browser and websites you are visiting. And without further ado, and let's go ahead. So all you have to do is to open up on Firefox browser. And then dito lang sa top right corner, and then click mo lang yung train line icon. So click mo lang yan. And then next step ay kailangan mo lang select dito yung settings. So dito sa settings, dito lang sa general, and then select mo lang dito yung privacy and security. So i-click mo lang yan. And then next step ay kailangan lang natin mag-scroll down at hanapin natin yung HTTPS dash only mode. Okay? And then ito na siya. Alright? Kung paano ba natin enable yung HTTPS. So sinik mo lang dito yung pinakauna itong in enable HTTPS dash only mode in all windows. So please keep in mind that HTTPS provides a secure encrypted connections between Firefox and the websites you base it. Alright? So most websites support HTTPS and if HTTPS only mode is enabled, then Firefox will upgrade all connections of HTTPS. Alright, so dito sa right side ay pwede mong i-manage yung exceptions niya. So, i-click mo lang yan. And then dito sa exceptions, HTTPS only modes. So, you can turn up HTTPS only mode for specific websites. So, pwede ka maglagay dito yung others of website. Dito na siya. And then, makita mo dito yung websites. And then, yung kanyang status. So, pwede mo siyang i-turn up temporarily. Or pwede mong i-remove yung website. Or remove all websites. And then, i-click mo lang tong save changes. Alright, so ganun lang po kasimple kung paano natin enable HTTPS only mode in Mozilla Firefox browser. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.